Software Spring Presence How to use cell function in Google Sheets Hi folks! Welcome to this tutorial on the cell function in Google Sheets. What does the cell function do? It returns the address of a cell, column number of a cell, row number of a cell, contents of a cell, prefix of a cell, type of data in a cell, or the column width of a cell. All right, I will open this spreadsheet titled cell. First, we'll take a look at the cell function format. The value for info type can be any one of the following. Address, call, contents, prefix, row, type, or width. The reference is a cell address. OK, here's an objective to use the cell function. To get the address, column number, content, prefix, row number, type of data, and width of column of cell A2. Type the equal to symbol, and CEL, in this cell. Select cell from the menu. The info type is this. Type comma. The reference is this. Press enter. Alright, the cell function has returned the absolute cell address, of cell A2. Now, let's copy this function to this cell, and find out the column number. Well, the cell function has returned 2, but it should have returned 1, because the text, John, is in column 1. Let's look at the function, and see what the problem might be. This reference should have been cell A2, but it is B2. Why? This is because of relative cell reference. Let's make the address absolute. First, click this cell. Click before A. Press F4. Google Sheets has changed this address from a relative to an absolute address. Press Enter. Let's copy the function again to this cell. Alright, now the column number of this data has changed to 1, which is correct. Let's copy this function to this cell, to get the content of cell, A2. The cell function has returned the data. Let me click this cell. In the function, you can also type the actual value for info type, instead of a cell reference. For example, I can type contents here. Press Enter. Let me change this back to a cell reference, because we can copy the function across these cells, and get the data. Press Enter. I will copy this function across these cells. OK, the cell function has returned the data, for various values of the info type attribute. For prefix, the caret indicates the text is centered. Let me left align this data. I will copy the function again to this cell. The single quote indicates the text is left aligned. Let me right align this data, and copy the function again. The double quote indicates the text is right aligned. This is the row number. This is the type of data in cell A2. The L indicates the data in cell A2 is a label. That is, text. Let me change this to a number.
OK, the type of data has changed to V. It stands for value. Now, I will delete this data, and see what the cell function returns. The type of data has changed to B, indicating that cell A1 is blank. This is the width of column of cell A1. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.